it is disgustingly strong. Holy fuck. Izuku Bakugo, just give up. Just give up. Just fucking give up. The man has weights on to restrict his movements. And then at the end, his strength hit the air pressure he causes just obliterates. Oh my fucking god, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's disgustingly too strong. Oh my god. Bakugo, get your head out of your ass. You're not fighting all night. Get, just get your fucking head out of your ass and just end a fucking discussion. Bakugo, I don't care how high you praise yourself. You're not fighting a man that has fucking weights on that restricts his movements and causes air pressure to do that shit. You know, G fucking G, you're done. Done. You're fucking done. Just, just get the fuck out, Bakugo. You're done. Like, seriously. Holy shit. I, I, do you need to take a beat into the face? Oh, no, 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 no. I, r let me rephrase that. Do you need to get hit? By All Might's punch that has weights on it. Do, do you need to get hit by that before you understand? Or do you... Oh my god. That... That is so fucking crazy, man. Just All Might's strength is so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. He just walks in. And he fucking obliterates that wall. You just see the fucking air pressure. Oh my god. Just think Izuku is gonna have that one day. Oh my fucking god. He's gonna have that. He is gonna have that as a quirk. Oh my god. Just imagine that. And it'll get stronger. Like, just, just think about this real quick. Imagine, like, 50 people... Down the line, like, let's just throw Izuku out of the equation real quick. Let's just say 50 more generations pass. Just imagine how insane that quirk is going to be. And just like, no, just 10 generations. Just fucking 10. Oh my god. Like, that is... Seriously, if it gets that strong, it continues getting stronger. Oh. It, Saitama. Just fucking Saitama in the making. Saitama. The... the GG, it's done. Like, All Might, man. He has restricted movements. This is a dying man. This man is dying. He's not at full strength. And he still pulls shit like... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This dude is not even at full strength. I'm scared to see what All Might was in his prime. Just imagine how strong All Might was in his prime. This man does that. And then the rape faces, the, the rape faces that All Might puts on, like, All Might, to be the world's greatest hero, and to be, like, the best hero and the kindest hero, and the embodiment of justice, you would think he wouldn't have that many rape faces, but no, All Might and his rape faces are, like, 11 out of 10, you know what, 20 out of 10, it's just masterpiece out of 10, like, his rape faces are villain level, like, when you see his eyes pop up and he gives you that rape face, Y your anus is gonna get wrecked. Bakugo, just prepare yourself, okay? Just prepare yourself. All Might is not probably gonna hold back. Like, he, he's gonna put the fear of God in their existence. They're, they're gonna think about it like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. Like, Izuku's sitting here like, shit, we need to run. Like, we really need to just run, Bakugo. Like, we need to run. Because we're fighting the greatest hero, and he's not just the greatest hero. I know how his strength is, because I have a portion of his strength, and I have seen how ridiculous it is. And that, that's kind of what Izuku's thinking. He's like, we need to fucking run. It's not just because he's my teacher. It's not just because he's the number one hero. I know his strength, and I know how crazy it is. And you're telling me you want to sit here and fight this man. No, that's not happening. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, here's the thing. The chapter, GG, Izuku Bakugo, I, I've already said that, just G fucking G, you're, you're done. The other opponents that are being set up throughout the entire chapter, I'm liking, I, I, I like getting to see the, each individual students going up against the teacher. Ectoplasm, oh, I'm liking Ecto, Ectoplasm Sensei, whoa. I'm liking Ectoplasm Sensei, he looks really cool, I like his design, I like his ability, really cool. 
and definitely one of the teachers that stood out the most to me when it came to this chapter, besides, you know, All Might and him just walking in, fucking wrecking a wall like it's nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> just like, ugh. Oh. We're only 61 chapters in, man. We see shit like that. That's just like, oh my god. Oh. Okay, back on topic. Thing is, okay, the chapter of Boku no Hero Academia. Oh. You have it to where Aizawa, he was talking about each individual student, what they need to improve on, like mobility to teamwork, different things like that. And of course, when I just said teamwork, it has to focus on Bakugo and Izuku and how they're just, they can't work together. They always argue, they always bitch and bicker. And mainly the main point of this entire arc we're getting into, besides, you know, them having to either A, run or B, fight and hold out. The main point of it is, is for the students to take something from this and learn how to better themselves in a serious situation. And the thing is, okay, if we think back in the last arc with, you know, the hero killer Stain, Izuku, Todoroki, and Ida, they had to stay and fight. They couldn't run from the fight because of what was really going on at that time with what the hero killer was doing. And they were forced to stay and fight. This time, though... This is where they will really find out if they can use their brain. Will they stand and fight just to prove they have their own honor? Like, he here's the best way to put it. Right now, Izuku and Bakugo, or any of the students, they're not really defending nothing. Like, let's just say they're going and having an average day. They're walking down the street, okay? And they're by themselves. For some reason, there's nobody around. Like, no civilian is around. And you have it to where the students are walking down the street in a pair for some reason. And then all of a sudden, the villain pops up. A villain pops up, and this villain is trying to kill them. The first thing you gotta wonder is, okay, so should we stand and fight and fight this villain and beat the fuck out of them and try to capture him? That, that's one option. Or B, since there is no one around and we don't really need to protect one, anyone at the moment, because m remember Stain's entire point with his, you know, what he was trying to prove. Like, he says, instead of doing what you're doing with your own little silly-ass mode as of trying to get vengeance, why don't you save him? And, you know, he pointed at the dude. See, in this moment, right now, they have to consider this, because it's being treated as an actual battle. This entire match right now is being treated as a real battle as if they were villains. So, if I was Izuku, or Baku, or any of them, I, I would think, like, okay, so there's no civilians around, I have no one I need to protect. There's no one in a chance of probably dying around me. The only person that needs to worry about their life is me, myself. Now, should I seriously stand up and fight against this person when I most likely am going to lose? When this person has superior strength, I know they have superior strength. Should I stand up against this person? That's the first question that pops into mind. And honestly, the best course of action would probably be to run away. Because why would you stand there and fight someone that is... 10 times stronger than you, 100 times stronger than you, 1,000 times stronger than you, or you just, you know, Saitama level. Just, it doesn't matter. Why would you stand and fight someone when you don't need to really stand and fight them? Like, no one is in danger at that moment, besides yourself. So why would you stand and fight, unless it's for your pride and honor? But even then, when it comes to being a hero, it's better to run, live, and fight another day than fight for your pride and die a piss-poor death. That just like that's the best way I would look at it and another way to look at it is too is if you're fighting this person for the first time you can get some information and then you can run away and that's kind of where I think this is going like you need to know when you need to run away and you need to know when you need to fight and right now Bakugo he's doing a stupid thing he's not even using his brain we know Bakugo is intelligent All right, let's not even try to say he's a freaking dumbass we know Bakugo is an intelligent character when he wants to be he is intelligent so, right now, he's just being too prideful, he's stuck up, he has his head up his ass, because he wants to spite Izuku, because he has this inferiority complex, because Izuku is slowly gaining on him in strength, and probably even already surpassed him. So, he, he has this inferiority complex where he's fucking butt hurt, and he needs to realize that, even though he's a cool character, he needs to stop being so damn salty. He really does. He, he needs to learn a lesson in this fight. Because right now, the way it's going, freaking Bakugo is everything what Stain, uh, Stain was against. Like, let's think about this. Bakugo doesn't really care about people. Like, he doesn't. He really is just all in it for himself. He's a selfish individual. 
And if you think about Stain's motives, the hero killer, the type of person he was against was someone exactly like Bakugo. For instance, Bakugo is a fake hero. Yes, he's a hero in training, but the type of person Stain hates the most is someone similar to Bakugo. So Bakugo right now, he's not looking too good. He's exactly what Stain was against. So, right now, Bakugo needs to learn a lesson. All Might probably needs to wreck him a little bit, just to be able to let him understand you can't always have your head up your ass to try to see and stand and fight against someone that is obviously stronger. You need to stop being so prideful. And, you know, just the way he snapped at Izuku, it just it was disgusting. It really was. It was just disgusting, because Izuku has saved his ass, he's tried to talk to him, he's tried to help him out. I mean, Izuku has tried to do many things for Bakugo, but Bakugo constantly turns around and just spits on him. That's exactly how Bakugo acts. And he, he, he needs to learn what it means to be a real hero. And that's the main lesson I hope he learns from this arc. I hope All Might put some fear into him. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.